Shalom. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Call her Loyum, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ha Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall awam. This is Al Kona'a from the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp, the church in Alabama. Patience. Patience is a very important ingredient in this thing of ours. Roughly paraphrasing the book of Hebrews 4 and 2 with a mixture of faith, we heard this truth. All right. Psalm 69 and 22 says what? Uh, this table was not a welfare. Roughly paraphrasing unto them, but it, it's a welfare. It's a benefit. All right. With us, because we heard it with a mixture of faith and automatically that leads to patience. All right. And these are keys to the kingdom, all right? And patience is an important key to the kingdom, all right? This is the book of uh, Romans, chapter 8, and verse 25. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? Verse 25 but if we hope for that we see not, then we with patience wait for it. And that's right, because we heard this truth with a mixture of faith, all right? We have hope in the things that we have heard, all right? We have hope, all right, that America shall be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles, and we shall see our enemies taken down by our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and we shall reign with Yahweh Shah, all right? Through us having that faith, all right, through us believing, all right, in these marvelous things, with patience, we're going to wait for it. Romans 8 and 25 again. But if we hope for that we see not, all right, which is faith, then do we with patience wait for it, all right? Let's get the book of James, chapter 5, and verse 7. And it reads, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. All right. So that's what we got to do. We got to be patient. All right. Have patience. All right. Until what? The coming of the Lord, Yahweh Shah. All right. Behold, the husband waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he, re until he received the early and latter rain. That's right. So our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, is having patience. All right. Yahweh Shah. Uh, uh, can't wait to get his hands on these devils and two thirds of our people and the rest of these heathen nations. All right. If our Lord and our Savior have impatience, all right, because he want to get back, all right, those soldiers that pierced him in the side also. And with patience, he's waiting for it. All right. So we must wait for his coming too. We must wait for the glory. We must wait for our glory days. All right. And how we do that? Through patience. Verse 8, James 5 and 8. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, all right? And you know the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word uh, uh, love, all right? Which means your mind, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh, all right? Because we see these prophecies taking place. We see everything, all right, being fulfilled. Everything coming to a head, so to speak, all right? Concerning the prophecies, all right? So our patience must grow stronger, all right? And if we get weak in patience, all right, we must pray for an increase of patience, Abaratazah, James 5 and 8 again, be ye also patient, establish your heart, all right, we got to establish our heart, uh, uh, get our heart uh, 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 built on this solid foundation to know that our Lord and our Savior, all right, uh, soon will, will, will come and deliver us, all right, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh, all right, this is, it's all about uh, seeing our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, it's, it's not nothing it's not about anything else, but seeing our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, coming, coming to deliver us. And the only way we're going to receive that, all right, through patience. All right, I got a, a simple Google, like I always like to bring out on that word patience. So this is that word patience, all right, just a, um, just a simple Google.
Select. All right, here's that word patience. All right, it says the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble or suffering without getting angry or, or upset. All right, and I pray for more patience. All right, because we live in a place is, is that's that's not too tolerable, especially for the man that has woken up to this truth, man. The two thirds love it here. The rest of the nations love it here. Esau, Edom love it here. All right, but we're waiting. We're having patience, all right, through faith, all right, that Yahweh Shah will hurry up and come back, man, to deliver us out of this wicked kingdom of America, all right? So let's read that definition again. The capacity, all right, to accept or tolerate delay. So we are accepting, all right, the delay of the coming of our Lord and our Savior. Um, Proverbs, so like in Proverbs 13 and 12 says, what? Well, hope deferred maketh the heart sick, all right? But, but, uh, but but when it's fulfilled, all right, it's a tree of life, roughly paraphrasing the book of Proverbs uh, 13 and 12. All right. So that's that tolerate delay because we are we are uh, uh, sick in the mind, man, every day, man. I mean, literally sick, man. We hate this place. All right. I love to bring out um, uh, stoicism. All right. Another word for patience. Another beautiful definition. All right. Stoicism. All right. The endurance of pain or hardship without a display of feelings and without complaint. And that's how we must be built up in this kingdom, man. All right. To be capable of of, uh, of endurance of pain. All right. This is this is pain living here in America, man. Waking up, having your woman over you or right, have to uh, be a slave for Esau, Edom to see the, the abominations done in the midst thereof and everything's OK. All right. To see these two thirds face, all right, having having them smile and, and and be full of folly, all right, enjoying the oppression that they're, they're in, all right. This is pain and hardship, man, all right. But we got to do it without a display of feelings and without complaint, man. We can't be murmurs and complainers, man, all right, because this is also our punishment that we're serving, all right. That's the balance of the whole thing. So let's jump back to the scriptures. This is the book of Romans, chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, and that's what we are. We're being justified by faith. We have peace with the Most High through our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Verse 2. By whom also we have access by faith unto this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And that's all we do. All right, that's the only way that we're, we're we're tolerating this place, man, because we're having patience. All right, through faith and knowing that it'll be over with in a minute. Verse three, and not only so, but we glorify in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work of patience. All right, when we're catching hell in this truth, which it's gonna happen. All right, uh, uh, set your set your mind all right. All right, uh, according to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. All right, chapter two. All right, set down harder, right? All right, and constantly endure. Okay, because what tribulation is gonna come because we're we're in this truth, man. We're not gonna be happy here. All right, because why? Again, it's a part of our sufferings too. This is our captivity. You're never comfortable in captivity. All right, but the scripture says, knowing that tribulation work of patience. All right, all the hell that you catch. All right, and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is gonna deliver you out of it according to your faith. All right. That's going to work your patience, man. Knowing that, hey, if the Most High brought me out of this situation, he got me to this point, I was in this situation, and the Most High brought me out, hey, we got to have patience through faith to know that he's going to bring us as a whole out of this captivity. All right? Verse 4, and patience, experience, and spirit, and experience hope. All right? We have experience, all right, that Yahweh Shah have delivered us all right, through through uh, uh, terrible, bumpy times. All right, for an example, when Yahweh when Yahweh Shah came, all right, and sent Moses and Aaron to deliver us from the hand, all right, of of, of the Egyptians, of, of the hand of the pharaohs. All right, it's gonna. This is symbolic to the same thing here in America, man. Yahweh Shah is gonna come back, all right, to deliver us from this uh, 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 bondage. All right. And Egypt is symbolic for our abundance. And this is this is spiritually Sodom in Egypt here in America. 
All right. Revelation 5 and 4 again. And patience, experience, and experience hope, man. So we have that experience that Yahweh Shai is taking us through, which builds up our hope, man. Our hope in our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right. To come and deliver us. All right. It's going to be a reward, all right, for the patience that we keep. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3. And verse 10 and it reads because thou have kept the word of my patience that's right we we are keeping the word which is Yahweh Shai all right of patience of suffering we just went through uh, uh, a clear definition of the word patience all right we are we are we're we are doing all these things we are enduring pain and hardship all right for the word's sake all right, read no, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is the mark of the beast. All right. No, ultimately, the mark of the beast. That's the hour of temptation, man. All right. Lord willing, the uh, uh, the patience and in, 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 uh, uh, endure all the way up until that time. And our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh shall deliver us up out of that. All right. Read no, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, verse 11, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And how are you going to do that? With patience, all right? First, first, through faith, all right, through belief, all right, and through us believing, all right, it leads to us having patience, man, in what we believe in. This is the book of Revelation. Um, Revelation 14 and verse 12 matter of fact I'm going to start at 11 Revelation 14 and 11 and the smoke of her torment ascended up forever and ever and that's speaking of America the destruction of America and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name alright and we want to be kept from that hour of temptation all right verse 12 here is the patience of the saints here are they that kept the commandments of the most high and the faith of yahweh shai all right how do we do all that through patience man all right we want to be a part of that number all right i'm gonna read it again revelation 14 and 12 here is the patience of the saints here are they and we want to be a part of that day that kept the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, we want to be a part of that number, man. And how do you be a part of that number through through faith, man? All right, it's it, it's gonna be a reward for having patience. All right, let's get Revelation. Thirteen. 10 because this is a reward for us having patience all right here's one of those rewards revelation 13 and 9 if any man having here ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword all right and that who led who into captivity? These so-called modern-day white people, which are uh, 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 the the wicked that the Bible speaks of, he have led all the nations of Israel, all right, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descents, all right. We he have led us into captivity. We are still in our captivity to this very moment, all right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, and the patience and the faith of the saints is what we will be able to lead them into captivity and put a foot upon the wicked neck, all right, which is the so-called modern-day white man, all right, starting with their top-tier elites, okay? The left-hand side, all right, that, that's illuminated by Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, which are the world bankers, the super rich, all right? We are keeping, all right, the, the patience and the faith, all right? We are the only ones that are keeping the patience and the faith, all right, that we shall take our enemies down, all right, through Yahweh Shah. We will be the next rulers upon the planet through Yahweh Shah. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. No one upon this planet has that faith but us. All right, so it's evident we are those saints. Let's 
get um let's get the book of uh the book of Saint Matthews, all right? Because once again, it's a reward for being patient in this thing. All right, the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four. Verse 14. And it reads. So like Matthew 24 and 13. Right. But he that endureth unto the end. The same shall be saved. All right. Endurance man. That's patience. All right. What's the reward for enduring or having patience? Being saved. It's all about salvation. It's all about reigning with our Lord and our Savior. Yahweh Shah. All right. It's all about seeing our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right, come to deliver us. All right. And how we're going to make it through that. All right. Through patience and faith bring upon patience. All right. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 21 and verse 19. And it reads. In your patience possesses ye your souls all right so that's how we're gonna uh, uh save our souls all right through patience all right and faith brings on patience all right we have faith that these words are faithful and true all right that 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 these things are gonna take place all right and if we endure unto the end through all these things if we endure all right in Yahweh Shah, in the faith in Yahweh Shah, all right, we will keep our patience. And the scripture says what? Luke 21 and 19, in your patience, all right, in your endurance, in your enduring hardship, in your uh, uh, tolerate, tolerance of, of, of this wicked kingdom, all right, possesses ye your souls, okay? Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying, all right, and know that through patience, all right, faith, Bring, bring upon patience, and through patience, we will uh, uh, receive a kingdom, all right? Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shah, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ha, Raka, Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah and all fear shall warm to his elect and death to America.